Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Nicholas Dalby versus Daniel Rodriguez. So both of these guys are coming off fights where they got tagged. One guy, like he got hit like he got hit, but he lost and he won. So Nicholas Dalby got stopped. Um, Rodriguez was close to getting stopped several times in his last fight versus with Dwight Grant. But it was able to turn around and then drop Grant like three times and then put him away. So a wild fight in his last fight, but it came out with a victory. Um, Daniel Rodriguez did. And then the Dolby fight, he got caught, got clipped, and got put away. So it wasn't like no real war or anything, or he really got any get back in that fight. He got no get back and he lost the fight and he got stopped. So, but I think both roughly took a lot the same amount of damage. Even though one guy got a win, matter of fact, he might have took more damage against the White Grant. The White Grant hits harder and he got hit like cleaner, but he wore it better than. Dolby did, but that has nothing to do with this prediction too much, or well, kind of does as far as both of them kind of damaged, and you saw openings in both of their defense. But I don't think this fight comes down to I think Dolby's gonna be the more well-rounded fighter as far as how he mixes game in, how he like had to blend his takedowns, blend it with his striking. And but I think in this fight, knowing that he's not the power puncher in this fight, he's gonna want to well, he's never the power puncher in any fight for the most part. He's gonna want to use his kicks to be on the outside more. And Rodriguez gonna be cutting the cage off and trying to land a hook around the side that right hook. Or come on the top of the right overhand and really tag up Dolby. I think Dolby's gonna be okay for a little bit, but I think Rodriguez is very slick with his boxing, very good at his, like cage control and cutting the cage off. Like I said, I think Dolby can be smooth for a little while, but I think Rodriguez eventually cuts the cage off on him, starts to land his heavy shots, starts to land his hooks. And Dolby coming off a knockout loss, I think that's gonna be, you know, in his head a little bit, and he's still gonna be wearing it because it hasn't been that long since he got knocked. I think it's barely been a month so it's almost probably two months at the most and coming off a knock loss that's too quick to now i'm getting all the shadow in but that's too quick to be coming off a knockout loss and they're going against another guy with, at this level with that power and that boxing and that and good i can see if you're going against a pony you know you're going to beat that would be smart well it wouldn't be smart it'd be better suited but going against a guy like daniel rodriguez it's not the best recipe and I, even like at full health, at its best right now, I would lean to Rodriguez over Dolby. But especially now, because of the fact that he's so fresh coming off a of knockout loss, I think that's what well, this might have been a decision in the past. I think this is going to be another knockout loss on Dolby's record. I think he is stopped in the second round. Eventually getting the weather. The punch not be wearing the punches as well, because like I said, he's coming off some a loss. Also, but the fact that you saw what caught him, and now you could try to hit him with the same thing, and it's going to be there. It's going to be in his head, and that's going to set him up for other things. I think, like I said, Robert gets cuts the cage off, fills him out, and then starts to walk him down, lands some big shots, and eventually catch him right on the butt and, and knocks him out in that second round. So in this fight, I got Daniel Rodriguez via second round TKO.